What is up, YouTube viewers? What is up, all BWC fans? What is up, all BWC family? Jack's pretty, and everybody in the BWC roster. You see, you just heard the new theme song. I know my theme song is still like a storm of gangster paradise, but I'm not using it for right now. You see, right now, I'm just a little ticked. You see, right now, I'm about to tell you when we get to that match. So let's get this started. Your first match of the BWC Massacre. We get you ready for Independence Day pay-per-view this Sunday. Our first match was a singles match. It was the number one contendership for the BWC Cruisers Championship. It was Sasuke Uchiha versus the man named Alex Wood that really pisses me off. You see, Alex Wood, you lost. <laughs> you lost your match. Your winner and number one contender for the BWC Cruisers Championship at... Independence Day, Sasuke Uchiha. We get into our second match of the night. It was an Extreme Rules match. It was Scorpion going one-on-one -on -one against Dante in an Extreme Rules match. These two competitors were really good. Superstars, uh, Scorpio, trying to come back from a loss to Robert, Robert Starr from last week. And he did, he did secede his, his way as he won his match in the Extreme Rules against Scorpion. Or no, Scorpion is your winner of the Extreme Rules against Dante. Now we get into our t third match of the night. It was a tag team match for the number one contendership for the BWC Tag Team Champions. Whoever wins this match will face Death, a Dark Asylum at BWC's Independence Day pay-per-view this Sunday. It was the Unholy Alliance trying to get, uh, trying to go and get for the belt. Of Kevin Kirk and Bam Colbert versus The Law and Caleb Black. Incredible match between these two incredible teams. But the Unholy Alliance fell short of their match. And your winners by via countout. The Law and Caleb Black after the match. Caleb, um, after the match, the Unholy Alliance attacked The Law and Caleb Black. In uh, after their match, um, I mean, these guys, uh, the Unholy Lions, once wanted that tag team title match at Independence Day this Sunday. We get into our fourth match. It was a Babes Tornado tag match. It was Rico Hinomoto, the number one contender for the BWC Babes title. She will go on to face Pandora at BWC Independence Day this Sunday. Um, going one on uh, with Sha, uh, Sasha, uh, Sasha Fierce versus the Blade Blazed Sisters of Acid Rain, and I can't pronounce the other one. Sorry, guys. I'm just pretty much I know. Oh, and Death Candy. Um, 
incredible match. Um, but your winners of that match, and I forgot to put this down, Riko Hinamoto and Sasha Fierce. That was an incredible match between these two incredible ladies, Tornado Tag. I just missed it because my internet was acting up, so I think it's he, uh, Rio, uh, Riko Hinamoto and Sasha Fierce. I hope she won the match. Um, right now... We get into our fifth match. It was Joshua Pinrod going one on one with everybody's truly, yours truly, Michael, the Axe Murderer Minor. Because you see, you now this match, I came out of a loss against Pinrod last week, but this was for the number one contendership match at B for BWC. Matt, uh, Independent State pay-per-view for the United States Championship match. You see, yours truly lost again two matches in a row against Pinrod. I am 0-2, and Pinrod is 2-0. So, Pinrod, congratulations on your match. And you will fight for the, U, the BWC United States Championship match at Independence Day. You see, now that I've lost two in a fucking row. I lost two matches in a row with the same man, the same superstar. Now... Everybody's going to be questioning, what is the future now for yours truly, Michael the Axe Murderer? It's just simple. I got to put my head fucking high, so fucking high. That now I have to wait to find out who my opponent is this Sunday at BWC's Independence Day pay-per-view. I could be in a pre-show match. I could be in a dark match. I could be any type of damn fucking match. Jack's pretty. I don't care what you put me in. I don't care if you put me against Alex Wood. Because I will beat the piss out of Alex Wood. If you put me in that match against Alex Wood. I will beat him so fucking bad. That he'll be bleeding. You see right now I'm a... <laughs> A little pissed off right now that I've lost two matches in a row. And then it's not going to happen. You see, we've got the pay-per-view coming up this Sunday. We're going to find out this Saturday on the BWC Facebook profile. The Facebook fan page. We're going to find out and see who yours truly, Michael the Axe Murderer, is going to face. At BWC Independence Day. I don't care if it's at the pay-per-view. I don't care if it's on the pre-show. Whatever I do. I got to win this match. You see. I've lost two matches. In a row. You see the BWC Queen. Shaw Ray comes in the back. Wants to give me a hug. <laughs> She gave me that hug, and I respect that. But I've told everybody in the back, I've told everybody in the locker room to leave me the fuck alone. Because I am now sitting in a dark corner. I'm sitting in a corner of what my career is going to be like for the rest of this year. That third loss is not going to happen. You see what I did to Darnell Anderson? I hope I do it to whoever I face at BWC Independence Day. You see, this is now a part of my promo for this Sunday. Jack's pretty. I don't care if you're fucking commissioners of this company. I don't care who you put me against. If you put me in against anybody on the pre-show... Or on the paper view. You're going to get the same result. Me. 
bleeding someone badly. You see, I still respect Joshua Penrod. Joshua Penrod, you have a great match at BWC Independence Day for the United States Championship. You see, this Sunday, if I lose, if I come into a match this Sunday, I don't care if it's pre-show, I don't care if it's in the pay-per-view. If I lose, I don't know if I'm going to come back to BWC Massacre August 6th. You don't know if you're going to see my face ever again. So I'm going to prove it this Sunday at BWC Independence Day pay-per-view. I don't care if it's pre-show. I don't care if it's fucking the pay-per-view itself. I don't care if I get in the top card. I don't care if I get in match number one. I don't care if I get in match number two. I don't care what match I get. That song you heard, it's going to be my theme song for now on. Until I win a match. Until I win a match, that song that you just heard from my intro is what I'm going to be listening to for a while. Now let's get back in track. Of what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to do a review. Let's get back on track. In your main event of the evening. Was the Extreme Rules. First blood match. It was for the BWC Bloodlust Championship. It was Magnum Storm coming in. As your Bloodlust Champion. Going one on one against the Tomahawk. For his rematch. You see right here. Ladies and gentlemen. This is my match number two. In the BWC. Match of the year candidates. Candidates. No, I'm going to do. Um, as I told you guys in my last previous video, this this winner, by the end of this year, if we survive, so cold, we don't get hit by something. This year, by the end of this year, December 30th, two days before New Year's Eve, I will be doing a BWC award show. A 2013 first annual BWC award show. In December I will jot down. All the matches. All the matches for the match of the year. All the superstar for best of the year. The best wrestler. The best superstar of the year. The best rookie of the year. The rookie of the year. Candidates I will put try to put some rookies. In. I don't know if there, how many there is. If there's going to be any more rookies by the end of December. Best tag team of the year. Uh, tag team of the year. Um, title match of the year. And so on and so on. Well ladies and gentlemen. Your winner of that match and still your BWC Bloodless champion. Is Magnum Storm. Now we get into... Mostly the end of the part of the show. Shaw Ray comes out. And she wants to choose her opponent for this Sunday at the pay-per-view. For the BWC World Heavyweight Championship at Independence Day pay-per-view 2013. Their fifth annual pay-per-view. You see, he put she put out some names on there. Magnum Storm. Of Magnum Storm and some of the other superstars. But you see she didn't put me. She didn't mention me because. You see Penrod you are the best in the world. I admit it. You are the best in the world. You got mentioned for a World Heavy title. Jax got mentioned. Everybody else got mentioned except Scorpio. Scorpio doesn't get another title shot ever again. But she didn't mention me. Because you see I sat outside of the arena. With my head down. You see this Sunday it's not going to happen ever again. This Sunday I'm going to put my head up high. 
I'm going to fight whoever I face at BWC Independence Day. If I lose, I don't know if anybody's going to see me next Tuesday, August 6th. You don't know if I'm going to make, if I'm going to come back at all. If I'm going to wait until a couple weeks and then make my return. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for your BWC review for July 25th or 23rd, 2013. I am yours truly, Michael the Axe Murderer. I am your BWC. Hold on here. I am your BWC Tuesday Night Massacre Reviewers Champion, Michael Miner. I'll see whoever this Sunday. For now, follow me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash michael.meyer.562. Follow me on Twitter at LonelyGuy22. Follow the Facebook page, fan page of BWC, Matt, uh, BWC. Also follow them on Twitter at BGN underscore live. Follow them on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Brotherhood Wrestling Co. Also follow my friends on YouTube. I will see you guys this Sunday. If I compete. If I don't compete, I'll still do a review. But for now, I'll see you guys this Sunday. Whoever I face. Yeah.